This problem requires that I prove the energy conservation law for the wave equation with this Neumann boundary condition. Okay, so we have these uh, boundary conditions, which are called uh, the Neumann boundary conditions, and also some initial conditions here as well. And we have a homogeneous wave equation here. The energy E of t is defined like this. It's one half integral from 0 to L of u sub t, so the derivative of u with respect to time squared plus u sub x squared. In this case, where the speed, which is usually denoted by c, the letter c, of the wave is equal to 1 in this case, dx. So we have e to integrate over dx, and in general, since u sub t and u sub x are functions of x and t, when we integrate over the, the, the entire interval 0 to l, this function e of uh, e of t will be a function of time, so it will depend on t in general. But now we can show that the derivative of, of e with respect to time will be equal to zero. We will show this, and therefore e will be a constant. Okay, and how to show that? Well, we have to we have to consider the wave equation and also this formula here. So we have to take the derivative of that d over dt will be equal to one half integral from 0 to L of 2 ut times utt plus 2 ux times uxt. Okay, so I have taken the derivative with respect to time of these functions here inside the integral, so I have taken a partial derivative of those functions. And now I can also use this, um, the wave equation, which tells me that u sub tt is equal to u sub xx, and I can also cancel this factors of 2 here, so I can rewrite this as integral from 0 to L of ut times uxx dx plus integral from 0 to L ux uxt dx. And now I will rewrite this integral here by integrating by parts just once. So when I integrate by parts, I will get u sub t times ux evaluated at 0 and L. And since uh, we have Neumann boundary conditions here, the derivative of u with respect to x calculated at l and also calculated at 0 is equal to 0. So this quantity here will give 0 contribution. And then we have to subtract the integral from 0 to l of u t x, so we have to take the derivative of this function with respect to x and multiply it by u sub x dx plus integral from 0 to l u sub x times u x t dx and this of course is equal to zero now we can see that easily because this term cancels this one and therefore the energy is conserved